What's up gamers and Giga Chats? today we'll be answering a question no one with over 3 brand sales will ever ask. Can you beat Skyrim but every slither of damage is enough to send you straight to the shadow realm? If this question was whispered in someone's ear, it would send shivers down their spine. The same shivers you get when your uncle busts in your room at 3am with a beer bottle in hand and his pants unzipped. Those same shivers when you accidentally drop some trash in Gotham and you feel Batman's bulge press up against your right butt cheek. The rules for this challenge were simple, I cannot use a shield. This challenge was harder than a Discord's mod with their femboy. Speaking of Discord, if you want to join mine, link in description. If you manage to get through the intro without concocting ADHD, something my neighbors can say they've done, then you are more than ready to watch my prolonged torture. Enjoy. But before you go, YouTube told me that 100% of you weren't- wait. What the fuck? I didn't want to become a paraplegic, so I sent Roloff in on his own. Think of me as a damsel in distress, and he's my hero. <laughs> Thinking I had this challenge in the bag, I was giving a cold reminder that nothing in life is easy. Simply walking over an item was more than enough to crush my kneecaps and the snortable powder. As I exited the cave and felt the breeze against my left nut, I had many questions. How am I going to beat this challenge? Is it even possible? And is porn still a thing? Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. I'm sure both of these items are completely within reason. I went to this kingdom over here because I was told to come to the king in more ways than one. I then met up with a king who directed me to the town pedo. Much like the other kids, he told me to go into his dungeon and retrieve an item that I quote, may or may not, exist. It was either I was going to get a newfound power, or I was going to lose my virginity. Either way, it was a risk I was willing to make. God damn it, I butchered those words. On my way to the dungeon, I must have tripped and fell on my stomach because my butt's innocence was taken by this damn mage. The first bit of the dungeon was easier than stealing your mom, but I soon felt what it was like to be part of the Sinister Six as I met my greatest foe yet. Hey guys, it's me, Spider-Man, from the hit show, Spider-Man. Shit just went from zero to a hundred real fast. As the fight began, I grabbed my Peppa Pig watch, a new big boy diaper, and my Disney princess water. However, getting up close and personal was not an option, for he was faster than I last in bed and could shoot his white, sticky goop a far distance. My only course of action was to hide in a corner and pray he doesn't pull a Gwen Stacy on me. This fight was more rage inducing than finding out you're pregnant after secret tickle time with your uncle. After cooking Spider-Man for a crisp 400 degrees, I was finally ready to move on with my life. Fighting him for the second time would prove to be much harder as my Pippa Pig watch ran out of batteries. I'm all out of princess bath water and I soiled my diaper. Instead of being an active member of society, I spent a little more time with Daddy Spider and eventually I drowned him with my ass juices. The last of my pent up rage, I killed a guy stuck in the web, which led to a great view of Spider-Man's wedge ass. God damn. I found a list of all of Foreign Guard's victims, however upon learning this EDP, the Basement Guardian, rose up. You guys, so I literally just fucking shit upon myself, and that's just keeping it the fuck real. But I swiftly sent him back to the Shadow Realm. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Hear that boys, one second we're diving into a basement fighting off perverts and the next we're pulling the pinch twist method on a dragon. Woo! No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. The hell did I do to you? Hand to hand combat was just not feasible and he would hit harder than Flintstone's vitamins. He had more health than a quirked up white boy good on the sauce. I pulled the only maneuver I could, the Rapunzel Clutch. That's right, your boy hit like a little bitch. I know that this maneuver is punishable by being sent straight to the boiler room of hell, but I'll make it up to you guys by downloading more mods that don't affect gameplay, only audio and visual, for your viewing pleasure. Wait a second, is he busting it down sexual style? Here's my boy Gangshu. He was the only thing keeping me alive. Think of him as a knight in shiny armor, and I was just a damsel in distress. Anyways, 
after nobly and single-handedly killing the dragon, it was time to put my lemon party abilities to use and suck him dry. And now it's time for our sponsored portion of the video. My fine ass lap dances, god damn! Absurd that you can't go good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Decided to join the companions. You don't know who they are? Well, let me introduce you to some. We got Ayla the Huntress, Athis, Farkas, I mean, oh, wait a second, Farkas, and who can forget Helma? Oh, God, just her name's enough to get me. She's a maid by day and a party toy by night. God dang. Squeak. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. I won't believe you. La 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 la. Someone told me to go beat up a lady for her lunch money. Come on, let's see what you're it was about right here when I remembered exactly what challenge I was doing. No sign of Since everything insta kills me, I was knocked out and dead at the same time. My only way out was reloading my save. I'm sure I'll get her this time. Alright, this is the one. I'm finally gonna beat her. Alright, I got it this time. It's all in the... Aw oh, yeah, first try. I did a lot of other stuff, I'm just gonna kinda speed through. I locked Farkas up so he can go take care of all the baddie bad guys for me. My friend in there. I found out Farkas was a furry. I learned a new shout. Then this happened. I was I'm still trying to figure out why Senor let you in in the first- Ladies, ladies, one at a time. I got invited to Secret Tickle time. Then I declined their offer to become a furry. So I did a bit of the Thieves Guild stuff. I couldn't find a way to make it interesting in the editing part, but not much happens. I did it purely for XP, so you're not really missing out on much. If you already know the Thieves Guild uh, questline stuff, then you know, you know what happens. I got butt fu- You know what time it is, boys? Time to sprinkle in some autism and mods that don't affect gameplay. God damn. <laughs> My next big move is finding some old dudes throwing a lemon party on a mountain. But some wolves got in my way, so I needed to get stronger spells. I decided to go to the mage, uh, high school thing. That place, the mage college. That's what it's called, most likely. Probably, who knows, who cares. But, uh, I decided- I haven't really been showing you guys the full extent of the mods I've been adding that don't affect gameplay, so I thought might as well leave this next portion unedited. That's right, everything you hear and see is completely unedited, it is just pure Skyrim gameplay and the torture I have been going through. Enjoy. So right now I'm at the college to learn some new spells because the only spell I have right now is the first spell you ever get. So this, this is what happened. So as I was saying, what I'm talking about is true control. Decades of practice and study. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Exactly what type of magic are we talking about here? Because your pose is saying something else. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Just to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. Because I'm trying to process exactly what's happening here. What do you think we should do? Well, well, I think we should probably just use protection. <laughs> well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. Oh, don't listen to him. We can do it. Just give us a chance. Hey, yo. All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. Wait, what the fu- Oh no, a frost troll. Good thing I was easily able to take him out with my new powers that I uh, don't want to discuss where I got from. <laughs> I got it from a vendor. I mean, like, <laughs> where else did you guys think I got it from? This old dude was like, Hey man, if you go to our basement and get the horn, this part can go up from a 5 to a 10. You know what? I'll make you forget what yiffing is. Which, if you don't know what it is, like, consider yourself lucky. I mean, d d don't look it up. The Google Safe Search will be your best friend. 
I've noticed something. So basically, every time I meet someone, they're like, Oh yeah, I'll help you, but first you have to go into my basement and get something for me. Like, what's up with that? You know what? I'm not even sure why I'm complaining. Like, all of these dungeons, they're really easy. I was just like, oh. Well, I see a magnificent pair of bananas. Here's where I met Bella Delphine. She hatched a plan for me and her to go kill some dragon. Where are you hiding from? Oh, I think I have an idea what you were hiding from. What? Kill him? I don't want to harm that beauty. Why would anyone want to harm a face like that? Take that! And that! And that! This must be what it felt like to put down old Yeller. So I'll explain this the best I can, but Bella Delphine made a plan for me to sneak into a party, but I couldn't bring any of my weapons or else I'll instantly know something's up. So I had to give only my essential items to some guy to sneak into the party for me. I bribed this guy with beer to make him be a humble distraction. All that was left to do was grab my gear and sneak past guards. And sprint past the guards. And now I'm finally sick. Just gonna sprint past them too. So basically there's this guy being tortured and he doesn't know anything so they don't know anything. So mission complete. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. The only other way of escaping was by saving the prisoner. <sighs> and then I left yet another creepy guy's basement. Hey guys, you'll never guess what she wanted me to do. Oh yeah, she wanted me to go save some guy. Who's locked up in some other guy's basement. God damn it. A death we will drink and we'll sing. Yeah, I actually have a request for you. What can I do for you? Yeah, it'd be really nice if you could just shut up. Sure. My voice could use a rest. So could my ears. I'm not sure why I complain so much about these basements. I mean, they're all extremely easy. Hey guys, I finally found Esburn. No, that's not me. I'm not Esburn. Eh, close enough. So I just reunited Belle Delphine with her simp and she wanted me to go and meet them at some basement. Here comes the airplane. Oh, well, you're not going to eat any giant toe. So I thought, oh, I might as well get the dog. But instead, I got this muppet looking bit. I did a blood ritual for our lord and savior. The subscribe button. This is, this is stupid. Oh yeah, we can help you beat Elduin, but first you gotta have to do a little something something for us. Man, this is bullshit. I have to do their chores for them, clearing out all the fog on their mountain. Like, what type of mysterious mountain doesn't even have fog? What the hell? So I just had a whole conversation with a dragon, so either A, I'm on something, B, I need to go get something called an Elder Scroll, or C, I need to go save a princess from a fire-breathing turtle. So I was looking through this basement for the Elder Scroll, but then this happened. That's right boys, I'm sad to say that I committed an old yeller. Can we get some F's in the comments? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, look at this idiot. I'm starting to think that the answer was A. I solved the puzzle and got the Elder Scroll. So you know how some of the dragons can sound like PewDiePie? Well, if you played Skyrim, I think you know where this is going. Fighting Alduin was harder than a teenage boy in front of the class. About two hours into the fight, I decided, you know what, maybe I should do something else. Maybe I should change my strategy up a bit. I did a bit of grinding. I went from level 9 to level 10 and I bought an ice spell. However, the Macho Dragon mod got corrupted, so back to normal dragons. After grinding, this fight became pretty easy. By easy, I mean it still took 20 deaths. I got invited to sit at the grown-up table as we were going to discuss how to put down Alduin. To deal with the dragons, nothing more. I'm on a magic trick. 
I'm gonna make this minority disappear. Ta-da! He's... He's gone. We captured a dragon and forced him to helping us, but he wasn't listening, so we sent foreign guard around back to a... Well... After running through the last basement by creepy old guys, it was time to prepare myself for an absolute pounding. Good thing I know exactly how to cheese this fight. Let's go. After me and the boys were done clearing away the fog Aldo was cowering in, we informed him that he can no longer sell Slim Jims anymore, and he got pretty angry. Since I had the health equivalent of a housefly, I had to hide under a rotting corpse to avoid the meteor shower going on. After Aldoin was done overreacting death, like, come on man, it can't be that bad. We can finally answer the question that everyone's been waiting for. Yes, you can beat Skyrim even when everything hits like a semi-truck. Of course this isn't the end. I mean, what happens to all of the people after Aldoin is dead? Without the reviewer is what I'm here to tell you. And what happened to me? Of course I wanted to go save a princess from a fire-breathing turtle, like, come on guys. 